as noted in uh, on BGG, the designer stepped in and uh, noted a number of rules I was playing wrong, and I was mucking up a lot, so I'm restarting this game. However, <laughs> most of them I got right when I read you the rules. My brain just wasn't working very well. I think it's basically Friday and Saturday last week, about a week ago, a little less. Um, I was undergoing much, much worse situations with uh, whatever my illness is in terms of my brain being foggy. Maybe an excuse. I screw up enough anyway, maybe not. Uh, that I missed some, uh, that I may have missed things that I would have caught otherwise. One of the particular ones that he was especially worried about was uh, when a card's. Uh, yeah, uh, prerequisites are met, just like in Twilight Struggle. If you play that card uh, for your opponent, uh, uh, if you play an opponent's event for the AP, then the opponent's event just fires. They don't get opportunity points. It just takes place. And I, I somehow that just got blocked out. I know I read that correctly in the rules. And I was kind of like, wow, I can't believe I fucked that up. Um, okay, maybe I can, but I have an excuse. But there was one rule I got completely wrong, even when I read the rules, because I argued about it a bit. The mobilization checks, I missed, this is opportunity points that you spend to increase the target number. So what I, what I was debating was, well, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you spend, because I thought it was action points, why would you spend anything less than the minimum? Well, it might be possible that opportunity points are not as valuable in a particular situation as the action points anyway. So, but whatever you spend on action points gets added in and you have all your opportunity points available to spend no matter what. And those opportunity points may be more valuable than they seem it from what I was playing. Uh, there may have been some other things that I screwed up. Uh, they were relatively minor. If they were, I'll probably screw them up again. <laughs> I, uh, but also, one of my dice, this has, and I mentioned this in the video and he caught this, this has an EI, and it's the EI die. Uh, it has three black EI sides and a white one. That means it's missing a side. It has RC and UC, it should have O, so I'm gonna have to read this EI as O. I am gonna contact Compass about it. I haven't done it. I'm so fucking lazy about everything. I say I'm going to contact them. Um, they've been really good on customer support. I've actually had a couple of issues recently uh, that were not their fault, I don't think, but they made those whole. Um, this one, who knows? You know, <laughs> it's possible that a lot of their dice are screwed up. Um, but the designer says his his copy is correct. So. Uh, maybe they have spares. Usually companies do have spare pieces. All right, let me finish the setup, deal out some cards, and get started. Uh, eh, might as well start start the game right now. Maybe I've learned something, too. <laughs> A little bit about how the game kicks off. I usually like to play games like this once before I video them. You know, it's not that big a commitment, but uh, I thought I could just pick it up and go. And... I think I learned a few things, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, I know what it was. The fear of reprisal table. Um, I look at this less than three. I forgot to, uh, the fact that there's a die involved in that. So there is a possibility no matter what, even with the minus two modifier, that you could get an impact there. Uh, I thought... I thought this was just an automatic thing. There's other things that are kind of automatic, uh, like this. So I got kind of in the habit of that. I have trouble reading sometimes, you know. <laughs> it's dealt out, and let's see what we have here. Shit, this pipe is not holding tobacco well. Um, okay, so overseas business, uh, the loyal player must skip his next action round. That's a pretty nice, fairly cheap card that I could fire off and almost certainly want to sometime in the two turns. Talks among the kinsfolk, loyal player adds a loyalist cube to a county with a loyal bias. And then you add three to counties with patriotic bias, no more than one per county. Um, that's about two action points, so I mean paying the two ops for it may or may not be good. We'll see. Loyal activities. If played from the opportunity to pull, you get six AP. Hey and you pay six ops for it. And that's kind of a, one of those, hey, if you've got your opportunity points, 
you need to do something, it kind of gives you an even type of thing. And here, victory points, cost four APs to get two victory points. That's probably a good deal. It doesn't build you up for the future, but victory points are, you know, we saw that the uh, Patreon was getting fairly good victory point uh, levels. I'm going to look at the Patriot deck, and he's going to make a decision who goes first. But I think I see where I got sidetracked. I think it's these activities, uh, the Loyal and Patriot activities cards, uh, because I looked at one of these early, and then it just sort of baked into for me. Um, so this is normally an action point card. If you play this on the opponent, he has the option to either uh, grab some immediate actions, half as many as you just played, or gain some opportunity points and put this in the op pool. And... I don't know, maybe that somehow implied, came into it. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna look up a couple of things. One of them is the parliamentary session, which actually the uh, notes are on the board. That's helpful. I had them covered, so I didn't really see them. Um, at the end of the parliament, they give the advantages and the other effect. This one, though, is more complex. And see relevant events. Yeah, so that's, that's based on specific cards. Gotcha. Another thing the, the designer was pointing out was he wasn't sure I was rolling the dice all the time. Um, I don't, I was, as far as I know. Um, but I don't always do every single mechanical action uh, in the game. I'm going to try to be, uh, again, like I was last game, fairly diligent for the first video. But, you know, it, just because you don't see me do something doesn't necessarily mean I'm not doing it. Uh, but eh, it's worth calling me out on, especially you know, when the video's first going up, because then the game's on my mind and I can remember, did I screw something up? I'm not gonna rewind for like a missed die roll or something like that, but rewinding for the amount of errors that I had in the first one makes sense. It again chooses to force the loyalists to go first. He did this in the last game as well. There's some disadvantage to that. I mean, it's possible that the Patriot, you know, but here's the thing, you're not gonna trigger any victory point rolls. Uh, so, there's a little bit of time to catch up, so it's, I think, better to be in that reactive position if you, if there's no reason not to. So he's going to play this for the event. Two cubes in Du Montan, and plus one to Rebellious Spirit. I like increasing Rebellious Spirit. And then... One of these was a cheapy, but I believe in doing things, and now I roll the RC die which does not have a fourth RC on it. And that moves a different track. It's, you know, I felt very comfortable with the mechanisms of the game uh, in playing it, but maybe too comfortable because I wasn't looking up things and running into where I was screwing up. All right, on to the Patriot for the first turn. And remember, this is a parliamentary turn, but there's nothing parliamentary out there right now. You know, one other thing I think I was uh, screwing up was um, if the Patriot plays one of these, you know, like a loyal activities card that has a loyal choice on them, it's the loyal who still has the choice of which, uh, which die to roll. And I think I may have been having the wrong person roll the die. It's going to drop a quick uh, event as well. Three cubes in Rishlu. And one and two of these other counties, that should be it. Uh, grabbing, oh, this switched hands. I forgot to do that. So it went even, I'm sorry, it went even and then it switched. Gotta remember the zigzags. That's always hard for me, even in XX. Um, okay, Richelieu. And this is, this is what's hard for me about playing it kind of in real time at all. And then the other ones are Rouvier, Berchet, and Yamaxa. Sometimes it's useful to have some kind of geographic positioning on the card to help you see. I don't know how that would be accomplished here. This is such a huge map um, with a lot of space and a lot of inform and a and the information takes up a lot of space. One of the things somebody pointed out was, wouldn't it have been, you know, easier to do this, and prettier too, uh, to do this with uh, numeric counters the same way that Twilight Struggle does. 
and it does feel like almost there was an overproduction type of thing here. I mean, I was shocked at, you know, hard map, huge, all these plastic pieces, etc. And uh, I think I would actually rather have a smaller map. It would be easier to operate with. Although with the side-to-side -side playing <laughs> seating. Okay, St. Hyacinth. Yamaska is one of these. Vershees and St. Hyacinth. And I'm not doing these in the best time. Like usually you want to do it when you've got costs coming up. Something I can't find. Uh, but anyway, without these large things with just like little territories, it would be easier to represent on the card, I think. There's St. Hyacinth. Okay. Well, this one's a plus one. So I am definitely going to play this one. Um, that doesn't give me anything, though. This is the only one that does, and it gives me a point in the RC. I roll the RC cube. And another organization. Yay. Last time the organizations were really big for... Uh, for the Patriot and damn it, <laughs> what to do. Um, but I look at my cards and I'm not seeing anything I really want to do. So I'm going to blow a couple of opportunity points here. Uh, let's make it four. Which means this card's not available unless somebody gives me more. But that's okay. I'm going to play this, grab myself two quick victory points. And that's an EI. Just making sure I see four dice, and I'm like, well, wait, are there four? Yeah, there are. Okay, and that is an actual EI, which I like the idea of triggering. Now, I've got to be careful. I mentioned this last time. I've got to sort the decks as I discard. So, generics in 1834 are different there. This is for cleaning up um, rather than anything else. Okay, and now I should do what I forgot, which is flip this over so that I know who's going. This card, and in particular, it's, you know, <laughs> really kind of weird. I can spend a couple opportunity points to fire this off and prevent both of us from getting a turn, basically. That doesn't sound terribly valuable. Um, do I have a bunch of places that I want to go with this? That would be my question and there's one there's two there's three eh, that's definitely a possibility i'm sorry for jumping in and out so much um mainly because i have to compile the video <laughs> and my merger but yeah it's i'm trying to do thinking in ways that are not easy for me right now i'm going to play this for the event plus two on the external influence track and an external influence die. That clears that track out. It's already moving forward. I feel like, yeah, let's get that out of the way. And it scores again. Or moves forward again. That puts us here. We're out of Parliament, so we immediately get two victory points for the Patriot. <laughs> and a cube in Quebec doesn't do us anything. I hope I'm getting my RCs right. I, I, one, one little trick that was, or tip that was pointed out, not really a trick, is always count these suckers whenever you're going to score, because things just get out of hand all the time. It's usually generally close. The problem with it is, for me to count the RCs, took like three tries and I didn't trust any of them. They were all different. <laughs> a lot of cards I don't like. Something I could do is I could play this card for the event, which would mean I'd gain opportunity points, making it possible to play this. And this card goes in the opportunity pool. What that means is that I waste this turn and another turn here. There's something very uh, appealing about doing that because I have a handful of green that I don't want and I don't want to hand to him by using uh, the strategic realignment um, card, which I really don't like the idea of right now. Sometimes I don't mind handing him a bunch of cards, um, but in this case I do not want to. So I think I'm going to do that. It's a, it's a little weird 
bit of shenanigans as far as I'm concerned. It's like just sort of manipulating the cards rather than something else, which I'm fine with, you know. It's hard to tell what a game like this, what everything's representing. Um, I'm building up my political connections or something like that, you know. Okay, I'm not seeing much I really want to do. I'm going to fire this off instead of taking something. So I, I have one. He gets to play one, and I'll get to play three. Um, and where will he play his one? He'll play his one here. Now that changes this back again, but I get three of them. I don't want to play there because I get in there for free. Oh, I can't play there. These have to be in bias areas. So that shifts. And two more shift as well. Oh, I'm cheating. <laughs> it's not easy for me, man. Um, here and here because it's got to have the little flag there. So bonk, bonk. And that's a rural card. Once again, the organizations go. <sighs> I would really like to build up organizations, but I don't have the hand that I had last time that allowed me to do that as the uh, Patriot. Loyalists, I'm going to play this for six action points. I'm going to trigger one of these off. A partisan media, I put there, not spent. Um, that's to remind me I can't play another one this time. So that's two. That gives me four more points. I'm going to put those four more points in... I'll uh, put two of them in Quebec. That doesn't really help me directly, but I'm looking towards the organization track. And the other two... There's not a whole lot I can do with them. Uh, so I'll just put them in locations. There's one that I get for free, and here's another one I get for free, taking the control away from him. I get to choose what I want to roll. That's a good question. Um, geez, nothing's really appealing to me right now. I'll roll the EI die. Just because, you know, it might come up EI more likely than the other. All right. Now, I'm going to try to remember how that should be done appropriately. I'm going to drop this card because Rebellious Spirit probably is not going to get to five or higher anytime soon. Um, I just don't have anything I really want to do otherwise. Buying up Montreal doesn't help terribly much. So let's take a look where else we can grab things. We'll grab these two. And that gets us there. And then uh, there. Forces the RC die to be rolled. And that's the urban counties. And now this is going to go in his crap and give him two more opportunity points because this is not able to be triggered. And that'll push us here. And now his card, what he bought here, this Patriot Media, means the next time he plays a green card, uh, player, the Patriot player's card. Um, no, that's not the one I wanted. I'm sorry. He wanted uh, Le Canadian. My screw up. Um, the next time I play a green card, uh, I ignore the event and play the action points. It doesn't go into here, it doesn't fire the event, which is important because I have a big point card that I really don't want to play. Actually, I have a couple of them, but this one I really don't want to play. These two, 
a little happier, but this is eight cubes total. This is, these guys are five cubes total. Um, but that's a lot of points I'm giving up if I do that. And, and so, I mean, I've got three nice cards that I don't want to, and I don't particularly want to trade them to him. They're good cards, you know. <laughs> At this point, I'll play this 78,000 names card. Um, what is my chance of getting an, uh, of getting an organization in Quebec? That's my question here. I've got five. Plus, I could throw six in for 11. That's pretty good. Um, let's say I put four in for nine. Let me... Uh, that'll cost me a lot. Yeah, let's go, let's put four in for nine. That'll give me a couple of points that I can use for something else. And I can always kick opportunity points in to make this if it doesn't go. Okay, so I owe one point if I want this to work, and I'll pay that. And I get my organization. See, this is important because this is an organization card. Uh, I get my organization here in Quebec. And now I have two points left. Well, I don't want to play those in Quebec, obviously, but I might want to increase my potential for an organization. So let's play one here. That cancels out a point there, and I'm setting up, you know, so I can get an organization there. And elsewhere, we'll play here. And I don't know my choice about, you know, competing with someone directly. And now this is canceled, the event, by this. And I roll the organizational die. And we get an EI. That's going to score the EI. Nothing happens. It's The rules for that are award the victory points and reset. And this is discarded because of that. The, uh, the Patriot does not get to play the event. I'm going to play that same little game. Playing this to give himself two opportunity points and put the card in here. It's really a delay of game tactic. I'm holding three cards. I only want to play the Patriot activities. I don't want to play those Loyalist cards. So I'm bumping, you know, I'm bumping things a little further. I did not catch this. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think that may be worth two organizations instead of just one. <sighs> God damn it. That's the kind of thing that really ought to be on the track if it's different from what I think, but I seem to remember it is different. Um, yeah, the marker goes two boxes in your favor, and it allows him to now build the rural organizations. So this goes out to here, and that's really good because I'm set up with a scoring round coming up and four victory points coming to me. If I do that right. Oh, uh, I don't know what the fuck I just did though. <laughs> oh, I'm lost. I played the 78,000 names, is that what I just did? That doesn't seem right. It seems like I did that before. <sighs> God damn it. I hate it when my brain dies on, on something like this. And here's the problem. I don't have an easy way to figure out whose turn it really is. Did I just do a Patriot action and look something up or not? Um, it's not like we have a certain number of cards and my poor brain is not working well because of the illness. I mean, that I did not play a Patriot card, but I really can't be positive either way. But both players have three cards in their hand and that means they're in the same location since each has burned a card by putting it here. And I think each has played one from there, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, this is a lot easier when you're playing with another person passing back and forth or when you have a working brain. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy this for four. I'm gonna use them all to try to build an organization there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, plus four is nine. There's no bonus from Quebec. I'm sorry, from, yeah, Quebec. Yeah, of course, Montreal is the one that hates English-speaking people. Quebec is like, come here, American tourist. Um, OK, 
Okay, so the urban county has to be six to 10 and I only have five in there. Okay, so my total was one, two, three, four, five, nine. And I've got a couple opportunities I can spend. Eight, nine, 10, 11. That means I have to spend two of them if I want it. And I do want it. Um, that gets me an organization here. And that increases the org chart again. And I'm going to take a die roll with the org die if I can find it. It's way over here because I could get myself some victory points. And I do. How about that? Okay, so this goes over. I get six victory points, which is awesome. Not opportunity. One, two, three, four, five, six. This gets reset. And this card is gone. And we're back to the Patriots. They're playing a four-point card. Now, first thing they want to do is I'm getting awfully close. I'm going to call for composure. So that's two of my points. Flip this over. Prevent it from going forward. Uh, the other two points, I'm going to put one in here. Gaining control of that and upping its value for organizations if I ever get Montreal set up. But that leaves me with only one cube. Where do I want that one cube? Cube. Um, I don't really know. I don't know how much it matters. I'll put it there. That gives me another rural county. This gave me a rural county. I hope I'm right. And I can roll the die of my choice. I'll pick the arc die because, strangely enough, that's not coming up very much this time. Um, last time there were a lot of rural county cards coming up, and that boosted the Patriots' points this time. Um, and that, I understand, is kind of common. This time it feels like uh, the uh, Loyalists are getting a better hand in terms of what's happening. <laughs> the urban counties go up great. All right, and that pushes us here. The Jean-Baptiste does not do anything unless you have a card in play that impacts it and there actually aren't any in anybody's hand or anything. Oh, it's shitty choices time, right? I can give them three cubes in Berchier. That's horrible. I mean, I don't know. Are they so far ahead in it that I don't care? Well, they can build an organization if that's the case eventually. So, I mean, I just don't want to give them that. Um, this one is a little worse than this. Eh, I don't know. This is two, four, six. This is two, three, four. No, two, four, five, six. Yeah, they're worth six each. Jesus. I'm paying the same. This one's worse for me, though. And I don't have points to fire this off. My opportunity points are crap. So with nothing but good, uh, but bad choices, I hate to give him Montreal, that's the thing. Geez, I don't know. Do I want to give him the little little card? Ooh. No. I'll give him the Montreal bonus. Okay, so I've got six points that I can um, figure out what to do with. I've got my organization there. I've got my organization there. I don't know what I'm going to do with six points. I'm going to grab a lot of shit. Rural counties. Yeah, a lot of things are going wrong. That should be six. Uh, let's see what we grab. grab. This well, see, at this point, this is iffy because I've got an organization. Um, I'm just helping him build that up if that's the case. So I'll play one there until he gets an organization at least. Play one here. Again, the plus ones are canceled out by his cube, which is one of the reasons I'm doing whatever the hell it is I'm doing here. I might end up having to play that. Ah! Oh. Yeah. I don't see anything better to do. So I got all of these. This is an urban. I should have 
should have thrown some points into an urban. What if I do? If I throw two points into an urban instead, let's take a couple of these out. One, oh, I think I played this one. And that is this. Let's say instead I spend two of those points to put it into urban. I boost this. And yeah, but there's no catch up or anything here. So now I roll the urban cube. And this time we get the rural counties. Awesome. Now he gets two cubes in Montreal. Oh, I think he actually... I don't know. I don't know if that takes place before he plays it. It didn't matter in this case. But this happens, and that gets the urban back down. And this card's been played. So he got to play his event off of me. Um... And that puts it over to his turn. And now with the organization situation, I'm going to try to build an organization up here. I've got five, nine, and some opportunities to spend. I could have just played um, this, but that would burn through my opportunities. I'm willing to give him this card in his pool, I think. I don't have it in mine. Okay, so that's 10, 11. I'm going to have to spend two off of here to fire off my organization. But the nice thing about that is that slides this back down. And now I get to choose what I'm going to roll. And I'm going to, of course, roll the RC die because that is the die I like. Um, the problem with that is whenever it scores, it triggers the fear of reprisal table. But right now, the fear of reprisal table isn't very big. And we get an RC. So we push that forward. That's the end of the turn. Uh, oh, I forgot to score this thing. I gotta look at the ordering on that. Um, so this automatically goes in here and gives him two opportunity points. Let me look at the ordering of card play. How that works. If I can find it. My brain, my brain. It's not working well. <coughs> okay. Mine is the scoring die rolled. Each card has a scoring die. Okay, it doesn't tell me there. So we have cards, cards, playing a card. When a player plays a neutral card, he can either... Uh, if the prerequisite, the opponent has to play it. I think that if the prerequisites met, the event is played before the die is rolled. If that's the case. Uh, so I think we're I, I think we were doing it right, but again, I can't remember what the fuck I'm doing. So we're at the end of a turn. No cards go away. Key events, uh, if any remain, go away. There were no key events at the beginning of the first turn. Um, uh, no, yeah, yeah. The Patriot player gains six opportunity points and the Loyalist gets eight. They get their points back. Six puts him up to ten. You're limited by the track, so you want to make sure to spend some. Uh, if Rebellious Spirit is on this, it flips over, otherwise it moves forward. It's not the last turn of a deck. And now we go to setting up... Uh, the start of the new turn. We're in late 34. Each turn has its own rules for the cards. I don't think there's anything there. There may be something on here. Yeah, the start of the turn's up here. So that's cool. I'm using the rules, but the player aid contains most of the stuff you need to actually play. So uh, late 34, we get the general elections card added in. And this is a key event controlled by the Patriot, uh, which will score a bunch of points for these things if his mobilization is higher. Uh, gives him a victory point for each. That can only be held in action rounds 6, 7, and 8. And they're not marked on here, which maybe 
there should be something, but I don't know. Um, okay. And then what else? Top card of 1834 and generic deck general. Is that right? The key events of the current turn, if any remain. Yeah, but these aren't key events. These are Patriot opportunities. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I feel like these should be cleared out. And my brain is not working. Okay, now the opportunity pool gets cleared out at the end of the yearly cycle only. So I get to add additional cards. Top card from 1834 and the generic deck. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of points in a parliamentary round. Unfortunately, there's not one here. This is a useless card. Just And concerned reformance, a bunch of victory points sitting out there for the loyalists. Okay. And now the players get their cards um, which is going to be four from the current deck and three from the usual, but what they have here, or from the generic, what they have here counts against them. So he's only going to get two generic, and he is going to get one less of each. So let's see. One, one, two, two, three, three. He gets his fourth. That covers that. Now the generics, each one just gets two. That pushes this in between. It's his choice to do this. That was spent, so we're all good. And we're ready to go into the next turn. I think we did everything right. So we're set on the next turn. We're going to force the Loyalists to go first again. And I look at the Loyalist card and, oh shit, didn't I get rid of this? Well, it turns out, yeah, I did. Um, there's more than one copy of that thing in there. Which, let me just make sure, because, you know, with the die being wrong, yeah, they're different numbered cards. Okay. Um, I just have some worries now about the overall production quality. And no, I haven't contacted uh, customer service. I put everything off so long. All right, anyway, I'll try to figure out what's going on, but I like the idea of this one that adds to Rebellious Spirit. I always like adding to that. That's the card I'm gonna play. Uh, it gets me control of this, which bumped me in the favor there. And I add a Rebellious Spirit. And then I get a Rural Counties roll, which ends up being something else. Okay. And I'm down to six of these. There's only six turns remaining because I didn't get one played in the first round. So I'm going to spend my two points. I'm going to spend two of it to flip this and two of it to bring the Canadian up so that I don't have to... Uh, so that I can play one of my big... Uh, do I have a big one? Eh, maybe I want to do something else. I don't know. I could actually do something else. Let me let me rethink that. If I can generate six points, I can exchange my hand. Um, I don't have a six-point card I really want to play. I don't have a six-point card. But if I play a four-point card, I could turn two of my cards in and grab cards from here. Uh, unfortunately, there aren't a lot of value. Let me let me think some more. Considering this event, but I'd rather hold off on that. So I'm going to use this four points to get... No, I can't do that either. Shit. I may trigger something. I'm sorry. I'm really having trouble here. Um... Well, we don't have a parliamentary fuck. Yeah, I'm not coming up with a good idea, a good plan. 
I would like to buy one of these. I mean, I can just buy some points here. This is worth four points if I spend four. We'll do that. I'll figure out what the hell to do with them. I spent two of the points on this and two of the points moving that marker, basically. But not in any election zones. That's the problem. The election zones are kind of expensive right now. And um, if I'm going to pay the extra price, I don't want the Patriots to be able to jump in and fix that cost. So I'd like to have a lot of points at once uh, just before the election. Unfortunately, there's nothing sitting out there that looks appealing for that. And I still haven't done any of these. God damn it. <laughs> well, I have to burn the opportunity points so that I can pay the, uh, no matter what the, co uh, the, our moment and get the op points back. Okay. Well, I definitely want to spend this one at some point in the turn. Up with that, that's going to be an O. Oh, that gets me three victory points. Okay. Just have to get a 20. And we get an urban county. So that's going to score the urbans. Uh, but now we take attrition. There's no point score. But the attrition, one, two, three, four, five. He loses a cube. Uh, he loses a cube, and here both sides lose a cube as well, so no real big effect, but seemed a reasonable card to play. And we grab the six points with the R moment, uh, not really, this card is kind of iffy. Um, it gets you a bonus, one cube removed from an opposing faction and you get two of your own in it, uh, which could be quite good. So for example, in Demontide, I could get a lot of power there and gain control of it. Uh, there might be other places where this is really valuable, say one of these as well, but then there's a chance of rebellious spirit being increased. And I'm having trouble coming up with points. So, look for the rural counties. I'm not sure I'm happy about having like that. I don't get an EI. I kind of wouldn't have wanted to do that, but I'm having real trouble finding myself um, a set of set of plays that I want to do. This would have been an option, but you know what? I'd rather play that on a big six-point event like the Loyalists did. And that puts me over to the Loyalists. are going to take this turn to spend this color a card and buy the strategic redeployment. I like this card. I have a handful of green. I don't know. Do I really want to hand this shit to him? No. Uh, I can't make any decisions in this game. <laughs> I thought it was great. I'd get rid of all these cards I don't want, but yeah, I don't want him having control of them. Much better one. I got a six point card here. It'll give him three opportunity points which does nothing because he's at the top of the track. It will put the card there, which is kind of painful because you can buy six action points for that. But um, I get six action points that I can screw around with. I don't know what I'm doing with them though. I spent them largely, a lot of them on here. That was like four of the six. But otherwise, reducing uh, the rural counties. Forgot, what do I want to roll? God, I don't know. There's nothing, nothing good. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll roll the urban counties, I guess. I think those overall probably favor me, I'm not sure. Yeah, I get that. Hard to talk. We got some big points here just before the general elections to play now that he gave us. So I'm going to play this thing, uh, increase the external and and that's the skewed die if it was an issue and that went flip flip We're far from the election right now if I had a six point card in hand I could play it and be looking for trouble this might not be a bad time to get that, I'm having trouble finding anything I really want to do. The problem is, my only six point card is here. That would eat up most of my uh, operational points, and then I'd have 
basically nothing but garbage decisions ahead. This color of card sucks. I could just play this. I'm not going to do the strategic realignment. I was thinking about playing the partisan media and banking it for the next turn, but I kind of like the idea of getting that looking for trouble into play. Get that sucker up to five, and then I could play this if I could get the operations up. But <laughs> uh, that's not going to be easy, so let's see if he hands us a play or something. So I'm not going to play cholera for this. That kind of hurts both of us. Um, it doesn't do much. Unfortunately, this includes a die there, but what am I going to use my two points for? Gosh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm not really... So one of the things I'm not really into doing is I'm not into putting a piece here because then that makes his cost for the next piece cheaper. And that's kind of the case all across the board. As long as I don't have him winning any of them, I'm okay. But... <laughs> And with the urban counties again. Just two points. I can play this for the event. Richelieu, Vachien, de Montier. Again, not necessarily the places I want to play, but I get an extra point off of it. Um, and I just consider that hard to avoid, although this point, that could lead to an organization. That's, that's the thing. Um, Richelieu de Monte Verchier. No clue where that is. There it is. That gives me another one. Okay. And that'll be a rural counties card. And this just keeps cranking up for no apparent reason. Now well, things are hard. I've got a handful of greens. I've already played the one card that could have got, or the one ability that could have gotten rid of that. I don't have a whole lot of operations points. He's not giving, or opportunities points. He's not been giving me any. Uh, I could play this, but if I play it right now, we're on turn five. Um, this might be the time to do it. Uh, the problem is, I'd really love to get that up and increase it now. Did I lose the card? Shit. Did I play the card that would have helped me? I don't know. Um, this card I'm particularly worried about playing because it gives him a goal. If he can get two Patriot uh, rural organizations, then he could possibly get a fair amount of victory points off of it. This is... Uh, any such count, uh, two of those such counties, he could get two victory points for each. And chances are he'll succeed in a check in these two counties or something. So I'm afraid of this card. Uh, this card, I could do this, but that would help all over the place. It would give me a lot of points. This one I'm more afraid of. <laughs> this one, it's only two points. It gives him a big lead there. But that might be my best. Um, I was hoping to do the looking for trouble, but I don't think I want to do that. I have to combine that with this. If I don't play this now, he's got kind of one big card could give, get him uh, a lot of points on the election. That's the problem. And he's definitely got a lot of stuff there. I would like to play one of these. Is this the only one I'm unwilling to? You know what? Now, see, these these trigger immediately. That's the problem. This is the only one that would get buried. All these others trigger immediately. And I'm afraid of these two. I don't want this one. So I think by the process of elimination, it's either play this and boost myself up big all over the board and give up on this, which
I like adding to the rebellious spirit. Um, because I would have it at five and then six. And how was I going to get it up to? I was going to get it up to with this, with that. So I'm going to just play this sucker for my two APs. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with those two APs. <sighs> Make life easier. Uh, this makes it a lot harder for him to gain this. And then he gets three here which is not optimal, but it also doesn't really hurt me that much outside of there. That means it's the Patriots turn. He could set this up uh, if he has enough points, so I'll figure out if he does. And he's already played one of these, so he's in pretty good shape, and he has enough points, you know. Set up for the election. I guess I'll play the rural. See, I don't like only having the rural counties as a bonus. Um, but, yeah, I think that's okay. Hey, this one wouldn't have been a bad choice anyway. So, I get a victory point. And this resets. And this card goes away. It's my choice. Uh, us to six and at this point the Patriot has to decide what he's doing or the loyalist has to decide what he's doing it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to get this combination going so I may just burn this thing and get myself uh, you know in competition in those elections because right now I'm losing quite a few of them what's the impact of that uh, Victory points each, which is not good. C counter way down there. I have nothing that I'm good at. I'll roll the big old card or die this time. And push that forward. This goes away. And now the elections aren't so hot. <laughs> I've been tied in most of them, uh, which means I don't think that I have any for the. Uh, patriots. So, you know, he's got kind of the choice. Does he want to play for the elections or not? You know, uh, if he keeps playing, it's this ping pong game back and forth. It feels kind of like 13 days or whatever where you're fighting over one thing. But there are, there's more to this, you know. <laughs> All right, let me think about the patriots. So I played a patriot activities, I think, from my hand. Better have been from my hand, which means I get to pick a die roll. Uh, to make. I got the rural counties up there again. Um, I really don't want them to burn, so I'm going to play the EI die if I can find it. There it is. Since I have an edge on that for now, we'll just keep seeing if we can get those points. Getting close to the end. I'm still playing for the elections. I'm not sure if it's a good move or not, but I don't really have anything else to go for. Uh, this was the arm moment. Okay, okay, this one, because there aren't two Patriot operations out there, or organizations out there, and uh, we have again made it so that he has no victory points if he plays the card. We get an organization's chip. This flips over. This is his last chance to try to win the election if that's the route he wants to go with. Otherwise, he could go for this. He doesn't have a handful. He doesn't have a lot of cards. That's the problem. Hand the loyalist a couple of points and tuck this card. But it's the loyalists who get to decide what die they want to roll. Uh, they're not going to be able to fire rural counties off. They could with this. A lot of points, too. Hmm. It might be worth it. See what happens with the Rural Counties card. Because here's the thing. If we get a Fear of Reprisal, it might. Who removes them? I don't remember. I don't remember whose choice it is.
don't know. Fair of reprisal table go on at every 5.11. Okay. Uh, perform the following activities. Roll the die. Applies relative die roll to the spear and references this. He then removes the Patriot counties. So I would be able to target election result tar uh, counties. Um, but I would have to play another RC before he gets the election off. So this is an idea. What did I just do? I just took away most of his votes, I think. I don't know. I'm lost now. What the fuck did I just do? Oh, he played. That's what's going on. The loyalist now gets a chance um, to figure this out. So if the rural county, yeah, so I get to roll a rural counties card die. I'm going to do that because if it comes up rural counties, I may play another rural counties card, assuming I have one like this, which is not tremendous. <laughs> uh, that could be very damaging actually, but okay, we get an urban, so it is not an issue, which may mean we want to play for the urban counties uh, on our own turn. So yeah, it gets me confused when like too much interaction uh, and interleaving of player abilities. So for example, when he plays a card and it gets tucked here and he gets a die roll and all kind of stuff, wow, that just starts to hit me with too much stuff. I've spent most of my points. I'm going to go for an organization here in the Katy. Uh, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as my die roll target. I have a few extra points. Maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. Eight, nine, ten. I'll spend an op point and get myself another organization down here, which actually gets me the benefit there. Now, here's the problem. He gets two counter two counters in Montreal, which I think puts him above the to the sixth level where his organizations become easier. And one cube in two rural counties which it's better than his only other option. He didn't have enough points to play any of these. So there was nothing I could do to prevent this at this stage. So he gets to drop two more pieces. Um, a piece in here would give me an electoral victory. This isn't the best places money-wise in terms of like evening out how the rural counties work, but does work out um, the best towards triggering this, which I want to do, because I'm going to get some victory points off of it. And now we end the turn with this, and of course the organizations, this is part of the beauty of the, the organizations ended up over there. Okay, so I get one victory point for each of the counties where I have a, an electoral win, which is one, two, and that's all she wrote. Still victory points are worth a lot. I'm way behind, and it looks like nothing else happens. This is a key event. Those have to be kept separate uh, for the stacking of the deck. I had to spend my two points there uh, to do that, but it does have an organization role, which I almost forgot to make. And that ends up being a rural counties, just for craziness. Okay, so now, we go to find the end of the turn sequence because both players have gone. And the key events are discarded. There are none. Um, the Patriot player gains six. He gains eight. If Rebellious Spirit is over here, it gets flipped. The last turn of the deck. 
So, everybody's hands are discarded, as is the opportunity deck. All that goodness that's baked in there, it's gone. For whatever it's worth, this is gone too, but I might as well throw it this way. Um, presumably players know what all the cards are in the game. Oh, no harm in that. I had them face down last time because I thought there might be an issue, but no, you're not able to hold your cards. Uh, this is not winter of 37, so now we cycle around to starting the next turn, which will put us over here. And for this, I have to shuffle the next deck, the 35, 36 deck. Um, the 35 key event is going to go in here, the loyal answer to the elections. Whenever you try to create a rural organization, you may choose to re-roll the mobilization check. Uh, that's pretty cool. If you have good odds, you can pretty much guarantee it. And I will set things up, but I'm going to just upload this. I don't see much um, that's not just mechanical at this point as we go into the game uh, turn and switch. So up it goes. And I think at least I've probably followed the rules a little closer this time, <laughs> even if um, I feel more bemused about the what to do aspect of it. Um, so that should be kind of cool. All right, up it goes.